previously, High Stakes Week had the housemates flipping out. <laughs> Wasabi marshmallows, it is. Yes! No! Oh, yeah! And a twist of fate gave head of house Tim an even stronger hand. Drop nominee, the big one. He could do anything with it. No one in this house knows where they truly stand with Tim. In a tense challenge... Just remember, you're a spider and a snake. Ah, uh, bugger. Still, oh. still. Taras and Alicia held their nerve to win safety from eviction. Yes! Ahead of their final house nominations, wounded newbies Johnson and Alicia were out for revenge. So Johnson put himself in the firing line. My plan is to get myself nominated. So you put your point on me. Okay. Determined to face off with Gabby and Estelle. You are all nominated for eviction. And despite Estelle's desperate plea, you're risking my skin, and I've yeah. been protecting you from the start. Tim showed where his loyalty truly lied. The housemate Tim has chosen to save is Johnson. And when Tim chose Brenton to join Gabby and Estelle on the chopping block... Come here, B. Welcome to the club. Tim's betrayal left Estelle in a rage. This is a nail in the coffin for Tim and I's relationship. So the game continues. This is Big Brother. Who wins? You decide. It's day 52 in the Big Brother house. And after Tim's decision to save Johnson over OG buddy Estelle, the house is tense. I don't understand. That's the name of the game. We all just have different strategies of how to survive in the game. Correct. I would say her strategy was the worst. Like, why are people complaining about what has happened to lead them to this position right now where they are still in the game within a few plays of the finale. If anything had have changed, who knows? You might not be here. Count your lucky stars it happened as it did. Because you're here. Stop saying I'm here because of you, Tim, because it's absolute rubbish. What? This whole game, everything you've done has been in your best interest, not in anyone else on this side. Estelle. That's how you play the game. That is how you um, win. This is where you and I are different because I genuinely, from the start, had your back. You're getting so offended that no, I played my own I, game I, here. I'm not offended by you playing your own game. It's that you communicated you that you were playing a game with us. You moves that were only benefiting your game, that were detrimental to my game. I'm just kind of shocked. He had said and we had said that we were going to work together and he's given me this idea you know, that we are actually working in an alliance together again. And I've been trusting Tim, and then he's just put a point on me. And also chose to save Johnson instead of me. I feel shocked, confused, and kind of upset because it means all of the words that Tim has fed to me have been lies. Do you not get, though, as far as team? I know you say this it's isn't a game a of alliances. Or... Why did you make us feel like The team like didn't event? have my back. The team the organised team to get me out of here. After I haven't done that for you. I haven't done that for Reggie. The team did have your back. Do you want to work together or not? How can I trust you? Oh, my gosh. It just shows me that Tim really has no loyalty to Estelle anymore. Could it be any more black and white with the trust being broken? Truly. But of course this was going to happen because she's on the line and I'm head of house and I didn't use my power yesterday for her. Estelle is cranky. I used my head of house powers to save Johnson from being nominated instead of her. I mean, I did consider it. Not for very long. It was no, it was an easy answer. I don't know where I stand with her. And I'm just like, you're not off limits to me. Because you haven't given me a reason to yeah, be off Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not actually working okay, together. So 
I made strong relationships with the rest of the house, which have got me through to this far. This OG illusion that you're still holding up, I stopped believing in a long time ago. And I think it was a bit of a reality check for her. I, I was tried to make good like three times in the last month with her. And the other one was just a few days ago and she's not hearing it. Oh, it's been such a bumpy road working with Estelle in this house. I don't think I can trust her to have my back. She's realising that she did me wrong. Oh my God, it's funny that you're both talking about each other. Really? Yeah, I walk into one conversation, about, I, want, I walk out of one, it was about team, walk into another okay, one. Okay, we'll stop. Oh God, you two are like brother and sister at this point. It's just hectic. As Big Brother's game intensifies, Johnson keeps his cool with his daily pep talk routine. As you sit in this chair, Johnson, I want you to reflect. You've been honest with yourself. You've played the game very hard. Thank you. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. Yes. Yes. I. I am here! Congratulations, Johnson. Rejoice! That's quite the achievement. Please make your way to the diary room. I to the diary room. I don't actually know what I did. You just reached the extraordinary milestone of giving yourself your 500th personal pep talk <laughs> inside the Big Brother house. That does deserve congratulations. Big Brother is rewarding oh. you with something near and oh. dear to your heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I never knew that talking could get me this far. You have earned it. How about you dig in? A magnificent KFC feast for, for a magnificent milestone. You get it. Has Big Brother made your day? Oh! I must be doing something right. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge room. Hello, housemates. Hey, Big Brother. Hi. Tim. Yeah? Perhaps more than anyone in this game, you know how quickly fortunes can change. Mm. Here we go. A few days ago, a little bad luck turned into a lot of good luck when you were voted head of house. Now, Tim, you have the very important job of selecting two housemates to face the final panic task for the year. Oh, big time. Wow. This is, we're at the pointy end. It's happening. Tim. Yeah? What are you considering with your choice today? Um, there's only one person who hasn't experienced the panic room, and that's Reggie. She will have to be one of the people that I'll send in. And Tim, who's the lucky housemate going in with Reggie? The person is... Taraz! Yes! Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> Reggie, yes. how do you feel about going into the panic room for the first time? I'm very excited, Big Brother. I can't wait. The last one is going to be the best one ever. Yep. Yeah. We're going to do this, Reg. Yeah. We're going to do this. <sighs> well, Tim, you've either dealt the house a winning pair or a couple of jokers. Oh, oh, no. And if you have any luck, bring it with you because you're going to need all of it. I'm going in with Taraz. I'm so lucky. I'm very excited, extremely excited, and I hope that uh, we can part. Oh. Reggie and Taraz, please make your way. Thank you, guys. Thank to you. To the panic room. We're bringing it home. We're bringing it home. Let's do this. Reggie and Taraz, let's go, Reggie. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm yeah, nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh! We are going to be rolling some dust, baby. Housemates. Hello, Big, Hello, Big Brother. Brother. Welcome to Big Brother's High Rollers Room. <laughs> Yay! 
Would you like to know how you can roll on out of here without being punished? Yes, big brother. All you need to do is roll sixes. What? You'll notice two dice on the table. All you need to do is take the dice and each roll a six. Simple. Do you understand? Yeah. That sounds too easy. That sounds super easy. There's the catch. There's got to be a catch. No catch. Something's going to happen to Raz. You ready? Ready. Should we roll? Yep. Three, two, one, roll. Yes! That's one six for Reggie. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so unlucky! Yes! Congratulations. You've rolled sixes at as far as Big Brother can see. Those were the only dice in the room. The room. The room. What do you mean? Oh, oh no. Rubbish! We have to roll all these sixes. That's right. You need to collect every single die that lands in the room, roll a six on the table, and then put it in the clear box. And obviously, to ensure the stakes are suitably high, you'll have an unsuitably low time limit to get it all done. Oh, my God. OK. Better get going. Go, Reg. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, show me your luck. Come on, Reggie. Yes! Yeah, put it in. Good, Reg. Keep going, Reg. We're going to win this. We're going to win it. And you know what? what? We're going to be the heroes. We're going to be the heroes well, today. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, people are going to yes. start taking me Fair seriously time. in this house. Six! Beautiful! Yeah, 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 yes! Six. Oh. No! Coming up... Tim. Who at this stage would you like in your top three oh, and why? Please. I would be prepared to be with anyone. Perhaps not Estelle. And with Estelle's back to the wall... What the heck is this? Can she fight to stay in the game? I'm already burning. Why don't we add some more balls in there? Push it up, Gabs. Oh, oh, gubby, gubby, oh, gubby, oh gubby. shit. Six, six, I want six. Reggie and Taras have been in the six, panic room I for over six. an hour, trying to roll sixes in order to avoid punishment. Papa wants a brand new six, baby, yeah. Like we are just killing it we right are. now, Reggie. We, we are just killing it. Six, there we go, baby. Five. Come on, get rid. Yes, six, another six, oh, baby. Taras! Ah! There are so many dice, Reg. There's so many. What's this bloody thing? What's that? Oh, no. What is it? It's a 20-sided dice. Watch this. Mwah. Six. First roll. Oh, my God! I told you! <laughs> I told you, baby! Well done, Taras. <laughs> I think we should celebrate. No! We're going to have the worst gambling addiction after this, Oh, my we? God. Look at me, I'm getting RSI. <laughs> carpal tunnel? <laughs> You're getting carpal tunnel? Where's the box gone? It's right next to oh. you. <laughs> yeah. It's been there the whole time. It's not moving. Well, I got confused by walking around the table. <laughs> We're rolling the dice. It's very, very nice. We're rolling the dice. We want to do it twice. <laughs> oh, Reggie, please. <laughs> Let me write the songs. Oh, I'm gonna do a wee. Reg. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm getting delirious. She's she's lost the plot. <laughs> Fruit We're rolling the dice. You're gonna need to get me a straight jacket. Yay! Reggie's very, voice very is just nice. grinding in my ears. <laughs> You've got to admit, it's catchy, Taras. We're rolling the dice. It's very, very nice. We're rolling the dice. We're rolling the dice. We're rolling the dice. We're rolling the dice. It's 
Let me Don't give up. Listen here. Listen here. You cannot give up. Take a deep breath. Go into your stupid meditation state that you do in your head. Right, get your med on, get your stupid med on. Now snap out of it. Housemates, you don't look very motivated at the moment. Oh. You might want to pick up the pace. <sighs> Come on, wakey wakey. Oh, I want a beer. I want a drink. Any beers, big brother? Reggie, this is a panic room, not the RSL. <laughs> <laughs> not again, Reggie. Reggie! Is my panic room sending you a little crazy? She keeps giggling to herself. Reggie, you need to focus. I know just the thing. Ten. Nine, We're going down with the ship, Reggie. Eight, We're going down with the seven, ship, Reggie. Six, five, four, Never give three, up, Reggie. two, one. Oh. Oh. Housemates, now's the time that I tell you you didn't pass the task. These doors are stupid. But you seem to be well aware of that already. <laughs> oh, God. Please head to the living room. So, housemates, the question is, did Taras and Reggie pass the panic room task and save you all from impending doom and punishment? The answer is... No dice. Oh, no! Housemates, you have once again oh. failed the panic room task. Oh. Alicia. Yes? Are you concerned? Yep, very concerned. I hated the last punishment and I'm scared. For today's punishment, Four of you will be punished. Oh. The other four will sit this one out. Oh. oh, well. Reggie and Taras, seeing as you were the ones who failed the panic task, you must select the four housemates to suffer for your sins. Oh. You cannot choose yourselves. Oh, my oh. brother. You must select four of your fellow housemates. So, Reggie and Taras, who is the first housemate to be punished? Mm, Johnson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who would you like to punish? Uh, Brenton, number two. Yeah. <laughs> join, join the circle, brother. Join the circle. Reggie and Taras, who is the third person you'd like to select for punishment? Alicia. Yes! <laughs> The fourth and final person you'd like to select for punishment. Where'd Tim go? Tim. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who'd they say? You. <laughs> what did uh, you call Tim? Fine, don't get into head of house. <sighs> oh, bugger. Housemates, your punishment is to be attached by ropes to Big Brother's truth pole. If you are attached to it, much like a polygraph machine, you must tell the truth to any question your fellow housemates ask you. You could get some real insight from your housemates tonight. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Brenton, Alicia, Johnson and Tim. Head outside and get strapped in. Ugh. I'm actually really looking forward to this punishment. I want to hear from Tim the most. He's been the biggest wild card. He tells everyone a hundred different things. I want to actually hear some more of Tim's brain in front of everyone. Oh my God, they've even got a chair. Oh, they've even got chairs. Oh, we're in the sun. Are you freaking kidding me? This isn't exactly the afternoon that I had envisaged. You're taking away my freedom. <laughs> this is dehumanizing. <laughs> Finally, we have Tim, the biggest manipulator in the house under lock and key. Yes! 
This is our opportunity to pick Tim's brain and find out what he is thinking. Shall we start the truth poll? Yeah. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Only the truth. Tim, which housemate were you surprised to make top 10? Estelle, she was nominated a lot. Oh, yeah, Estelle. Tim. What? Yeah. I've got a big question for you. No. Do you feel like you've been abandoned by the OGs because you're playing your own game? My game's been very evolving and I've um, always been adaptable and I was prepared to work with the OGs but knew that the idea of sticking with an alliance that was going to last through the whole game was not a strategy that had longevity. You'd become a target and I would be the one targeted. Tim, here's a question for you. What do you think of Alicia's gameplay? Well, OK, I like that she's never been afraid to say that she's here oh, to play. Stop, stop. All right, Tim, I've got a question. Why always me? If you were in top three, who would you like to stand next to? Ooh. Oh. I'd love to just get there. Yep. Um, yeah, I just want to last for the entirety of the show. I don't think that was the question. Yeah. It was an interrogation. Like, Tim in the hot seat, ask him really, like, hard-hitting questions. Enough. After almost three hours on the poll, Tim, Brenton, Johnson and Alicia are starting to feel very agitated. We need to, like, write SOS in sticks on the floor. Yes. Write help. I was going to write and SOS. And call the cops. We're being kept against our will. This is, this is hostage-like like behaviour. like animals to a This pole. is hostage-like behaviour. I have been just sitting back and listening, and this is the time to figure out once and for all if Tim's on our side or if Tim is going to be our demise. Tim. Michelle's <laughs> first question, welcome to the floor. Your opinion on this poll, who at this stage would you like in your top three oh, and why? Is. Well, I've always said <laughs> that I would not vote out stronger players than me or people that I respected were playing the game strongly. I would be prepared to be with anyone, perhaps not Estelle, strategic decision yep. of playing this game that way. And I think Estelle's come back and mm. I think the Estelle fans are going to love, love, love what she's done in this game. Just when I think I can't have more of a target on my back, Tim was trying to drive a knife in all afternoon. I think it means that mine and Tim's relationship in this game is done. It's a new day, and after the truth poll punishment last night, OG Estelle is still seething after her clash with former ally Tim. This is what started the distrust for me with Tim, was him trying to bring down his own side. That might seem like nothing, it's not. No, I know. I know. It's I know. everything. Anytime you say anything like that, it's big. It's, it's everything. And for him to have come forward last night and say, I don't want to be standing next to Estelle because she's almost won before and that, and that they want yeah. redemption, is his way of telling everyone else that Estelle is a huge threat to everyone else's game. She could win. Which is his way of being like, here's some information. I'm planting it in your head so it grows. He is going to send me home today. If you don't win. He's going to do it. I think I have to be very, very careful with Tim. The moment his flavour of the week is saying that 
I'm one of the biggest threats in the game because he's trying to remove the target from himself. Tim didn't save me, and it's showing that I can't trust him. He's only going to go harder for me. He's gunning for me. I know that he is the biggest threat to my game. Nothing can be said to anyone today about any of this because you and I are on the line. I'm aware. Oh, trust me, I'm so... aware of where I stand today. Yeah, Matt, yeah, very nervous about this one. Not as nervous if I'm sitting next to Estelle. Yeah. Nervous if I'm sitting with Brendan. Yeah, OK. Like, you're a strong girl. Mm. You are. Like, you, you friggin' kill the challenges all the time. If it was Brendan and I, what would you do? Yeah, you. OK, that's good. I'm terrified of what Tim will do, too, cos I know he wants Brendan here. That is a good point. And the game's controlled by physical threats now. Yep. I'm very nervous and very terrified this morning. I don't know if I'm safe if I'm sitting next to Estelle. I don't know if I'm safe if I'm sitting next to Brenton. So I feel like my only option is to win that second chance challenge. Feeling rattled about being put in the firing line for the second chance challenge, Brenton checks in with Tim about his safety in the game. What's going on? Okay. My target will be Estelle. You will either win the second chance or if you're in the firing line, me and Johnson will save you. Using my head of house powers to save Johnson from being nominated and swapping in Brenton was a strategic move. Brenton is a strong challenge beast and if Estelle doesn't win the challenge, I think it's a great chance to get her out of the game. Do you trust me? I don't know where I stand. You're our best bet to win the challenge. I don't want you going home, obviously. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Me and Estelle have a checkered past and things can get quite explosive between us. I don't know whether she loves me, hates me. I don't know if I do trust her. I have to make sure that Brenton wins so that Estelle goes home. Ah, oh, Estelle. Ten days to go. I just gotta fight for my life in this yeah, challenge. You do. You have to. Because I can't rely on anything. You have to, Estelle. I don't want you to leave. Oh, I'm really just. Don't. You're gonna make me cry. Don't cry. I've worked pretty hard to be in this position yeah. too. It's not over yet. I'm a fight like hell. I'm the Australia's most nominated housemate in Big Brother. And thanks to Tim, here we are again. I've realised that I have to go out and absolutely kill it today. I can't rely on anything. And being in that chair, I could still be vulnerable. I just want to prove to Australia that you can get places in your life, being yourself and being original. Integrity is the most important thing to me because it doesn't matter where I come in this game, I have to walk out and live with myself every day after this. I'm not giving up. Shirt, shoes, you ready? Yeah, bro. Things have definitely changed between Tim and Estelle. So it is a necessity to get a win today. This is Big Brother. Hello, BB. Today will be the day, we'll see. Let's do it. Housemates, please make your way outside for today's second chance challenge. Everything is on the line for this challenge. Tim is hell-bent on getting me out of the game. Today is the day that Estelle has to fight for herself and I'm gonna do it. Oh. 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 Oh.
What the heck is this? Oh, dear. This is sick. What is this? Hello, housemates. Hi, Happy big brother. brother. What's up? Brenton, Estelle, Gabby, for all of you, the stakes don't get higher than this. Win today, or you could be evicted tonight. Mm -hmm. Brenton. Big brother. You were the only of the three to be punished last night. Do you think that could affect your performance today? I've had no sleep, but I've had about four coffees, so mixed emotions this morning, big brother. Estelle. What's up? Have you come here to fight today? Today is the one day where I absolutely have to fight for myself, because if I win, then I am safe. If I don't, there is no guarantee that I am not walking out the door today. Gabby. Yes, big brother? How motivated are you to win today? Oh, extremely. Um, going up against two very amazing challenge beasts, which is concerning. Um, but no, I am terrified of leaving your beautiful house, big brother, so I'm not going to go down without a fight. That's a, that a girl. Well, housemates, today's challenge is all about endurance and strength. Players must push down on a handle that lifts a crane arm holding 15% of each player's body weight. Pushing down on the crane arm lifts a ball up into place within a clear chute. If you press too hard, the ball will fall out at the top. Or if you don't press hard enough, the ball will fall out the bottom. Players must keep the ball in position within that chute for as long as possible. The last player with their ball in the shoot wins. <laughs> well done. Do you understand? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm It is the business end of high stakes weeks, folks. And we're playing for keeps. So, let's play. Let's get it. Housemates, please step up and take your handles. This is already tricky. On my command, this challenge will commence. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. Let's play. Yep. This challenge is all about balancing a ball in that cylinder. Is it hard, Gab? <laughs> yep. You have to measure the amount of force you apply to your handle. Too much force, your ball will topple out. Too little force, and your ball will fall out the bottom. This might not look tough, but my god, I'm already burning. Estelle already feeling the burn. <laughs> Gabby starting to grimace. Craning your body to watch that ball is going to become very uncomfortable. Ah, oh, Brenton just chill. There is not a lot of room between the top and the bottom of that chute. No. Not much room for error. Nope. Oh. Oh. Gabby with a lot of movement from her ball, traveling up and down its chute. I just want to take it for a joyride. Estelle's arms beginning to shake. Brenton's ball has barely moved. It's like Brenton's just having a picnic. Uh, you know? Not even. Looks like he's just waiting for, like, he's waiting coffee. for a mate. No, he's waiting for his coffee order. Yeah. yeah. Brenton? Yeah, just here. Oh, 
ball. Gabby's ball very close to the bottom. Cut. Watch ah. it. Watch it, Gabs. Ah. Gabrielle. Oh, Gabby, Gabby, oh. Gabby, oh, Gabby. Shit. Gabby in some very big trouble now. Hold it, Gabs. Don't you dare let that go. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh Gabs. Gabby drops her ball, and she is out of the challenge. You may be. Brenton and Estelle, you have been holding on to this challenge for 30 minutes. That's a lot of your time, guys. Well done. Estelle, how Brother. long do you feel you can hold on for? Done it for three hours before. What about you, Brenton? Why don't we add some more balls in there? Was that, was that, was that confidence? That was just being a wanker, really. Let's not get too cocky. One lapse in concentration. And this challenge could be all over for you. Are we going to stand here all day, Brenton? I guess so. Unless we come to a deal. Yeah. Bing? You let go, and me and my mate save you. I don't think your mates will want to save me, Brenton. Brenton and Estelle, you have been a part of this challenge for one hour. He needs to keep that ball up. Brenton? Higher, Brent. Little Brenton? Bit higher, 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 mate, higher. Oh, oh, oh. Brenton! oh. He's about to, he's about to oh. drop it. I could be here for three hours now. I've hit my spot. I won't drop it. Neither will I. I'm chilling now. Keep going still. Brenton starting to lose focus. Still, I can guarantee you four, four votes. Haven't cut one bloody deal in this game yet. This could be your first. And I have more power than you think. Just trust me on that. I hear what you're saying, dude. But... Doesn't mean I'm gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm gonna go as long as I can for myself. Brenton drops the ball. What the hell? Estelle wins the second chance what the challenge. Hell? What the You didn't do that on purpose. Can I let go or what? We didn't cut a deal either. That's insane. I can't move my hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's my second. <laughs> I think he just, I think he actually just, I don't know if he gave up or if he's just been mind gaming me the whole time.
Congratulations, Estelle. How surprised were you to win that today, Estelle? Oh, so surprised. But I'm still shocked to have beaten B. Like, he's such a strong contender, mentally, physically, everything. Brenton. What happened? Honestly, as soon as I pushed down in the first minute, I was in so much pain. You hit it really well. And now I'm so dizzy. But honestly, Estelle deserves to win that because she is a freaking weapon. You were not supposed to be in this challenge. Tim swapped you in. Yes. Are you now nervous for this evening? Uh, yes, I am nervous for this evening. And this is my first time to go up in the eviction chairs. So um, I'm going to give the scramble a good go. And I'll be wearing my best shirt. So we'll see what happens. Brenton and Gabby use these last remaining moments to convince the others you're worth betting on. Don't Thanks. leave anything to chance. Thank you. That is all. Estelle has become a thorn in my side in this game. And now that she's safe, I've got to actually really think seriously. I have to decide. Am I going to keep Gabby or Brenton? You actually push yourself to the limit, to your oh, limit. Hectic. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. Estelle to the diary room. <laughs> Congratulations, Estelle. Woohoo! Thanks, big brother. Can you believe it? I actually can't. I can. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How does it feel winning the second chance challenge today? It feels incredible. I'm still in shock and so damn grateful because I was like, you know what? I'm a summons all my pony power because I want a number stay in this house and like I am. I feel in shock that I'm in the final seven, but also it's kind of fitting that I've had to fight so hard, you know, to keep my place in this game and it's, um, it feels good. No, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Don't yeah, count on me. Yeah, yeah. So who do you think is now in the firing line of eviction? Oh, I think that it honestly could go either way. So, you know, both are going to state their case and I'm probably going to be sitting in this cha chair making my decision, big brother. I don't know which way it's going to go tonight. I feel like I've thrown myself under the bus a couple times for the OG, so I'm willing to keep doing it, but you need to trust me, Rich. Well, congratulations again, Estelle. Namaste. Enjoy the evening off. I will for once. It's not going to be for long. Thanks, big brother. Thanks for believing in me too. So now the scramble begins. All right, first scramble. Oh, thank you. This is the worst case scenario as I lost the challenge. Now I have to scramble hard to survive. I'm proud of you no matter what happens, OK? Oh, thank you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so small. <laughs> I know you are. Oh, my God. You want to keep going, right? Dear. Oh, yeah. As a newbie, I've definitely got Johnson, Taras and Alicia. But I need to talk to Reg, Estelle and Tim and get confirmation. I can't beat you in a challenge, Brenda. This is what I'm, this is all I'm thinking. Yeah. The only way for me now to survive in here is to buy when it challenges. You have people, even though we are the newbies and we're on the other side of that, you have people, that's, I've been saying this to you the whole game, you have people that want to protect you. Yeah. You have people that want you to get to the end. It's hard because Gabby's been with me from the start. Same thing I said to Reggie, just you gotta do what's best for your game. If we were like five steps away, I'd be going, dude, I've got to stick by Gabby. Yeah. I want to stick by Gabby, I do. But I feel like for my game, having you here is stronger. 
I am leaning towards, at this stage, keeping Brenton. I'm concerned. Tim and Gabby may have been working together, and Tim is a wild card I have to be careful with. How have things gone with Reggie and Estelle? I know I'm 90% on Estelle, 80% on Reggie. And you're only 80% sure on Reggie. If Reggie knows what's best for her game, she'll get rid of Gabby. And what about Tim? I'd like to say I do have a lot of trust in Tim, especially when I know Tim swapped me into a nomination challenge when I wasn't even nominated. You just, you never know where you stand with him. Who's this that bread one, still? So, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you point, point on Gabby? Yeah. All right. So I've got Tim to... I lied to Brenton. I, I said I was going to keep him in the game. But really, the plan was for Brenton to win and target Estelle. Didn't work. I'm in a bit of a tricky situation. I'm not sure yet. Who do I want to work with? Gabby or Brenton? I'm going to tell you first is what? I've told Brenton that I've got him. But that's not, that's not what I'm doing. I can't. Yes. Well, you have to tell me something. What do you want? If it's, if it's, if it's, if it's me and Estelle in the, co in the chair... Yeah, happy to look after you. ...that's voting against I can't tell you enough how much I've... I'm... If you're still here, we have to pretend that we're working with Estelle. That's fine. ...to keep their number. I would love for this one, Tim, please. Because you know I don't want you to go anywhere. No, I know you don't, but I just would... This would be nice to see this. Yeah. I think, I think I need you. Mm -hmm. I think I really oh, need you. I think I've decided. Gabby is much more trustworthy and reliable. She had my back till the very end of this game. And Brenton, he'll say that he could never vote against Johnson. And so I think we're going to have to rally the troops, including Estelle and Reggie, to save Gabby. Top seven, I don't believe it. I actually was worried I was going home tonight, genuinely. You did it. You killed it. I didn't know I could until coming into this game. Uh-huh. Mm. I'm very strong. Didn't know I could do it. To think that if she didn't win that second chance challenge, her fate would have been in my hands, potentially. Can't win them all, I guess. So now I need to smooth things over with Estelle. I need Estelle's vote. Well, I think I've There's so little numbers now. It's all like... I think is if Brenton's promised you something, mm. He can't promise Everyone. three people already. I oh, know, because he's mm -hmm. promised me, and he's got Alicia and Johnson. Mm -hmm. So if he's also promised you, mm -hmm. and then he wins, who's he, who's he putting up? Mm -hmm. I don't want to put you into false promises and say I'm not considering Brenton. I don't know what to do. Right now, I think Tim's trying to work with me, and our relationship has been one that's gone up and down. The trust is totally gone with Tim, but I might have to work with him short term. I'm leaning towards Brenton, then I lean towards Gabby, then I lean towards Brenton. I'm confused. If I at least got you three, that means it can go to a tie and you mm. can pick. If you've got us three and Alicia, you say. Gabby is like my little sister, and I love her. Keeping Gabby in the game is good for my game because she'll be indebted to me. Have I done enough to save Gabby? It's your time. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty nervous heading into this eviction room. This is Big Brother. It is now time to make your way to the eviction ceremony. Hi, housemates. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Good. Fantastic. Estelle, congratulations on winning today's Second Chance Challenge. Thanks, Sonia. Yeah. Would you consider that your most important win yet? Yeah, absolutely. It's a time when I felt like I really had to fight to save myself. 
yeah. today. So it was very important because I didn't know if I was going to be sitting in those chairs if I'd be safe. Well, Brenton and Gabby, I'm sure you've both figured this out already, but one of you will be evicted tonight. Gabby, how do you feel to be back facing possible eviction for the third time? Oh, terrified. Yeah, I don't think much in this house gets scarier than these kind of chairs. Um, I think we all say that none of us are really ready to go home and it's exactly how I kind of feel, but I've said it from the start that I'm going to keep fighting, and if I have to go down swinging, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Brenton, first time in the eviction chair. How does it feel? Uh, look, it's all part of the experience. I've got to sit here, and um, I'd like, um, you know, my housemates to hear why I'm here. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't want to go home. What's weird is that you weren't actually nominated this week, so how did you end up there. I got swapped in with Johnson. He's been up here the past couple of weeks. Was this how you saw things playing out with Brenton, though, Tim? I thought maybe I'm putting him in the firing line, but he is a challenge beast. He might have a, a very good chance of winning that second chance challenge. Yeah. Do you have any idea, Tim, of how the votes are going tonight? I hear it's very tight. I mean, you hear all sorts of things. At this point in the game, there's not a coordinated group that you can rely on. It sounds like, especially this week, everyone is thinking their own game moving forward. Um, and, and with the challenges now only being um, nomination challenges, no more house noms, we're not working together as a group anymore. So kind of every man for themselves. Every man for themselves. So today, getting a, a sort of clear answer out of anyone was like getting blood from a stone. Well, the numbers have been whittled down to just eight housemates and only six of you will vote tonight. Tim, is it possible to have a plan to work with some people and then change that plan along the way? Yeah, we're going to have to be adaptable. I mean, the whole game, that, that was my gameplay, be adaptable. Well, High Stakes Week was unlucky for Brenton and Gabby. Gabby, the threat of eviction is real. Do you think you have the numbers tonight? I hope so. I mean, I've spoken to everybody that I need to speak to and have shown all the reasons why I'm in people's corners, what I've done to, I guess, help people through this game. And I guess my biggest thing for tonight is actions speak louder than words. People can say they're taking you to the end and people can say that they want you in the final three, but if they've done nothing to prove it, what leg do they stand on? So, yeah, it's it's daunting. How much would you love to be here, Oh, Gabby? don't, I'll get upset again. Um, so much. So, so, so much. Um, I'm naturally a really competitive and sporty person, so the fact that this is a diff very, very different game has been incredible. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say I deserve to be here any more than Brenton does because everyone has worked their butt off to get to day 53, but oh, more than anything, more than anything, I feel like I've proven that by constantly getting back up after I feel like I've been knocked down in here. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to go down without a fight. And I want you all to know that I really want to be here. How confident are you, Brenton, that your housemates will keep you safe tonight? There's people in here that, like, I know I've, 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 like, I'm confident in, and then there's people that you just don't know. Like, I've seen um, people swing in this room before. What do you think you can offer your housemates, Brenton, if you were to stay? I am someone who has referred to me as a challenge beast or threat, whatever the choice of word you want to use. I can win challenges for you. I don't have to nominate you, OK? I can be your shield, weapon, whatever you see. Well, my, my question is, we're looking at six people on the couch, right? Only three people can make it to the end. If you're going to protect your people, who are they? Who votes for me tonight? But what if all six do? You can't protect everyone. Yeah, then you're stuffed. I am an intruder. I am not going to win Big Brother. 
If you look at facts and history, no one has ever won Big Brother being an intruder. If you are sitting next to two people at the end of this season, you want me sitting next to you. That is a way higher percentage of you winning Big Brother. Sitting next to me. You guys want to be in the top three with the best players. And if you're taking Brenton there to then <laughs> get a default 50-50 win, are you really doing what you guys kind of said? <laughs> Tim, as head of house, if there's a tie tonight, you will have the deciding vote. What will you be weighing up if it comes to that? This is the power move, I guess, that, that, that finishes off the head of house's role. And previous head of houses have said that they would make the decision that was fair for the house. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm weighing up. Is this a Tim move or a head of house fairness for all move? Certainly sounds like it's going to be an extremely close vote tonight. I think both yourself, Brenton, and Gabby are clearly loved by all of the housemates. So before they go to vote, let's just hear your final words. Gabby, what is your oh, final message to your housemates before they vote? <sighs> I'll start off with, I love you all. Um, again, super grateful to even just be here and to play alongside some legends of the game and also some soon-to-be legends. Um, but again, like, I think it's been hard in here because I have felt underestimated. I have felt as though people have said that I'm flying under the radar. I haven't meaning to be. I've been trying to play as strong as a game, as smart as a game, as what I know. And again, I've said it a couple of times, I just think actions speak louder than words. If I have showed you that I'm in your corner or that I back you, it's because I do. I feel like I've done well with trying to keep my heart intact and the head and the strategy, which I've loved both aspects. Um, but like, I really want to be here and I really want to continue this game. Yeah, I really, really want to stay and play. Good job, Gabby. Thanks. Brenton, is there anything else that you would like to say? I love this house and every day I wake up here, I want to be here more and more and not to say that you don't, but I am falling in love with this house. I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love with Big Brother <laughs> most of the time and I really want to be here. Well, good luck to both of you. All right, housemates, the time has come. Gabby and Brenton, as your votes will cancel each other out, you will not be voting. All other housemates will cast a vote and you will choose to evict either Gabby or Brenton. Housemates, it's time to vote. Housemates, It's time to vote. Reggie, please go to the diary room. Hello, Reggie. Who would you like to evict and why? Putting my vote into trust and I've had a lot of issues with trust with this person throughout this whole entire game. I don't know what it is, Big Brother, but there's still something there that just doesn't sit right with me. Um, and that's why I'm baiting Gabby. Johnson. Uh, Big Brother, there's two people sitting in that chair tonight. Uh, one of them is one of the closest people to me in the house. One of them has taught me a lot about myself. One of them is far more beneficial to my experience in this game. And for that reason, Big Brother, I wish to have placed my one eviction point on the other person, who is Gabby. Thank you, Johnson. Estelle. This is a really hard one for me because had this been 10 days ago, I wouldn't be making this decision. Tiras.
Alicia, how difficult is this decision for you? <laughs> Difficult. Really, 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 really difficult. Can you talk me through why? <laughs> because I've got one decision which is my heart, which is Gabby, and one decision which is my head, which is Brenton. Um, and I've always stated that I'm a head player, but this tonight is the hardest decision I've had to make because I'm letting somebody down. Tonight, this is a hard one for me. Um, it is a strategic decision. Um, nothing about the person. Care about them both equally. Um, it's just that this person, I think, is um, more aligned with my competition than they are with me. So I'm voting to evict Brenton. You both really opened your hearts tonight and I'm sure everyone is grateful to see you fight for your place here. Gabby and Brenton, your fellow housemates, have voted and one of you is about to leave the Big Brother house. One of you received two votes and the other received four. With four votes, it's time to go. Gabby. This is Big Brother. Gabby, you have been evicted. You have one minute to say your goodbyes and leave the Big Brother house. Please don't go play any different, OK? Come here. It's OK. Play it strong, OK? I'm so grateful to have even made it this far. I am. Yeah, okay. you did yourself proud. Yeah. <laughs> really. I got to play with some legends, some yeah. soon to be legends. Um, yeah. Love you all. OK. Yeah. Love you, Gabby. Love you, Gabs. Big Bear will be proud of you, mate. <laughs> I love you, Gabs. For the guys, it's now getting to the pointy end of the game and a lot of them who said they were heart players obviously made a really big head move tonight. And as much as it sucks, it, that's at the cost of me going. I think Brenton said to a lot of people, like his pitch in the eviction room, that he can protect people in the game. And I think that's what got Reggie. And I think that's what I got Estelle as well. He can't protect everybody in the game. There's only three top spots to get to. And I hope he can, for both Reggie and Estelle's sake, hold up to that deal. I think Estelle might be the next to go. How far would you go to reach your limits? With the last breath in my lung, I'll go down fighting. They will be pushed to breaking point. I'm resilient and I'm not going down without a fight. They'll muster every ounce of human spirit. I have to win and I'm going to give it everything that I've got. To become the greatest housemate 
in Big Brother history. I'm going to give my body, my spirit. But it doesn't come without a price. The fact that I'm so close. This is the night. They're coming for me. I'm a big target. Australia. I will bleed, cry if I have to. Will pick its jaw off the floor. By the end, one of the biggest names in the game will be gone. What if we all could have made it to the end together? The epic final two weeks of Big Brother, Monday after Home and Away on 7.